Good morning, this is Lisa from Local King Robertson. Welcome to my channel. I am back. Yes, I finished 2021 Spring New Designs die cut file. I will show you in the end of this uh, video to show you what the die cut files looks like and the before we send to the factory, ask them to make a prototype. So what I'm going to show you today, oops, I hope I don't get into a trouble after today's video because today's video, I am going to show you, I just developed some great, awesome product that all the hardware store, you can get it. And it's perfect for cleaning the permanent ink stamps. So I went to digging all my draw to find a song of my stamp that I haven't cleaned it. And then I am going to show you what did I find out is good for cleaning the stamp. And from now on, I will never have to buy any staves on cleaner anymore. What is that? Let me show you. My past few videos, I was share with you some of the good items that I found at dollar store. Oh my God, I can't believe it. A lot of people, they are interested in those items and I will do my best to share with you what did I find at a dollar store that is good for stamping. So have you read all the comments that sometime um, below to my video? I read all the comments that my viewer left to me and thank you so much. Sometimes you guys just share some great um, tips with me and the, through this local kids YouTube channel, I would love to share with you. Share with the first dollar store was this uh, um, paint tool is awesome when you want to is helping you to ink better. And then the last video, remember I found uh, this uh, scrabble for cleaning the stamp. And then I was mentioning I was uh, out of uh, my stays on cleaner. I have a stays on cleaner. The, the my favorite one that was. Uh, this one, this one is called the Ultra Clean. Um, these are little small bottles. I think it's like a seven ninety nine, and it's finished. So I refilled with the stays on cleaner. But I sometimes just find that stays on cleaner is okay when you um just use the stays on and you want to clean with the stays on cleaner. They will clean clean it off right away. But if your stamp has been set there for a while, um, you want to use the stays on. They don't really clean anymore. So um, I was mentioning that in my video. So one of my viewers, she didn't leave her name, but her ID number was uh, SCT6168. I don't know where she come from. And then she um, actually leave me a comment and say, Lisa, try something called the tube oil tower. This is the tube oil tower towers. So, and then I went to uh, the hardware store I was kind of hoping if I can find uh, those kind of single pad, that would be great. This one is cost like $9.99 Canadian dollars and it's a 40 sheets wide. And then I try this one, it actually worked very well. Remember in my last video, I had this dirty stamp and I tried to clean it with the stays on cleaner. It didn't really come off, even I used the scrabble. So, and then I um, tried this uh, tube O. So, this one definitely worked, but uh, I'm still thinking it's uh, kind of pricey because uh, 40 sheets for $10. So each sheet is all like uh, 21, uh, 25 cents uh, Canadian. So what I did is I, I use a one sheet and then after that I use, uh, I think they are still moisture. So I kind of put in the container, it has still moisture. So I kind of put in the container and the hoping I can use it again. And then while I was at the hardware store, I was kind of walking around and then just try to figure out if I can find something interesting to show you guys, right? So, and then I found out something I'm not going to tell you now. And also when, when I was at home, I was doing some research to see what is good for cleaning the permanent um, impact. Maybe I can come out with this idea to mix some formula and then we can save a lot of money to buy the cleaner. I hope I don't get into the trouble because I don't think so. After this video, everybody going to buy the stays on cleaner anymore. So I hope that work. And then I am, we are going to, um, I, I found a few of my stamps is probably over a few, few years that is not clean and it's covered with the stays on. And that's see if the things I found out will work or not. 
and then in the end of this video i am going to um show uh, share with you what's the digital file for the die cut before we send to the factory okay so that's a start okay so i have quite a few of those uh, dirty stamp and the, the stays on here and then uh, my last video was talking about this uh, scrabble stuff so for the regular stamp i uh regular impact i will just uh, use the uh, water i think the water will just do fine and then for the permanent impact once that while they will uh, if you don't clean it they will start to deposit on your stamp so you will lose the detail like this stamp is very detailed right so if you, you when you stamp especially when you stamp on the glossy paper when you peel off if you peel off like the paper stick on your stamp that means your stamp is too dirty okay so you got to clean once a while so for the permanent impact we need some special cleaner most of the time people use a lot of a uh, um, like a judy king's stamp cleaner and it's very good the ultra um clear clean uh ultra clean is my favorite cleaner which is finished good the stays on cleaner okay the stay stays on cleaner is supposed like that but i try to refill in one of the, my bottles so it kind of looks by blue but they are clear and then I am going to show you the secret one. I'm going to reveal what did I found uh, at the hardware store. It's work perfect. Okay. So the first, let's try these uh, top, top old towers. It does the job if you can find the or if you have it, you already have it close to, like uh, at home. You can just try it. I'm just find that they are still kind of pricey for forty sheets, uh, ten dollars. Okay. So I'm going to find one and uh, let's just uh, find the least uh, little ostrich I was using last time and then see can they clean, clean or not. You can see kind of dirty, right? And let's see, just kind of rubbing on top. Okay, I want to just show you before, after. Okay, and then just clean with a wet cloth. See how clean it is. Right? So you can just use this one, the um the top tower, top all white tower. So if you have a song, look how clean it is. This is amazing. If they have a spray, that will be awesome. Look how clean it is. And then remember this one already clean a little bit. That was from my last video so clean you kind of just uh wiping the first the surface okay there you go so it's really really clean okay and then let's try the next one so i'm going to save this one and go find all my dirty stem here and i found this uh, container from the dollar store for the water um color painting okay so let's do this and then next one so for the regular one we will just uh, use uh if you use your stem and the right away you want to clean it i don't think so you have any problem to clean with the uh, stays on cleaner or the things i'm going to show you now so you can just uh, spray on your rubber mat or you can just uh, spray on your tower or just a little bit spray on your stamp and then just use the look at these and then just clean with a wet tower you know the rubber stamp is so strong i don't think so this wipe wiping is going to damage your your stamp So this stamp was the stamp that was uh, I was using um two three days ago, and then see how clean this. And then this stamp is the one I just found out in my drawer. It has been sitting there for a while. So that's the special this one. Probably it has been sitting there for maybe few years. Hey, okay, that's uh, just uh, this. Okay, so. 
you can decide you want to use the, the this uh, rubber cleaner or you can just spray your cleaner on the uh tower or napkin it will work just fine but i think my tray is too small so they keep popping out but that's okay so we spray some on top and let's see just keep rubbing 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 okay okay oh my god look <laughs> Don't you cur curious? Are you curious? What what is that in this bottle? Oh my god, this is so clean. Look. Okay, let's just try one more. Let's just try this wolf. It also has been sitting in my drawer a few years already. Let's do that. I don't think so you need the uh, uh, rubber, but it's good to have it, but I have to find a bigger tray for that. Okay? So rub, 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 rub. Okay? Rub, rub, rub. And then watch. Look. Spray a little bit. Oh, okay. And also, I found the other things. If you find out you don't want to use this rub, check the facial. This is a little same thing, silico. It's better than the toothbrush because it's really soft. It's for clean your face. And you can, after you spray on top, and then you can rub on top too. See? I think that's so clean. Okay, let's do a little bit more. Well, when I tell you what's in the bottle, oh, if you keep uh, spray, because this has been there for, the ink has been sitting on my stand for a long time. So I actually do two times. So just to spray a little bit more. But if you just use your stays on, I don't think so. You have to do too many times. And then look how clean is that. If you want to do a little bit more, let me see if I can make it leave the stamp like a news. So just uh, kind of rubbing it. Oh my gosh, it's so clean. I can see it go inside and then. Okay, and then. I don't think so you're going to have any problem for clean the state anymore. Let's try, let's try one state. Huh? Okay. Oh, so, that's the dirty stamp, right? Usually the water is not going to clean it. So that's it's still wet, so let's do Okay, that the uh, just uh, wait a little bit, make sure it's completely dry. So usually when you use the stays on, I don't think the so water can do the job, but let's try this. Okay. It works! It works! Okay. But important things is after we clean it, oh my God, look how clean. Let me grab a piece of paper, okay? Write the stamp. You must worry about, oh, it's maybe it's going to damage your stamps or something happened, right? So let's try and we, I stay down the kind of dry. Okay. Do a stamp. Ta -da. No problem for cleaning anymore. So from now on, we can save a lot of money for the stay on cleaner. I mean, the permanent cleaner. Look at that. I have never had the stamp this much clean. The secret is revealed. The, the, the 
the, the liquid in the bottle is this, is a goo gum. I think you can find it at any drugstore, Walmart, you can find this one very easily. You know, it's very interesting because uh, I was doing some research, right? And then I say, what is a good cleaner to clean the permanent market markers? So the impact is a permanent. It's like a, it's just like a Shopee, like an old marker. So why those uh, cleaner won't do the job? So these glue gun, I actually every time when I use that, I kind of find out they kind of, kind of oil but it's not oil when you touch it it's actually good for your stem i think it's kind of give them a little bit condition it's just like it stays on the material the feel like everything is the is the same they say surface is safe okay but the only but this is a dangerous and the poison so i think once in a while you use it it's okay but the don't try to use it uh, all the time. I just uh, find out this is uh, one of the alternative that you can use it for clean your very, very dirty stem. So the downside is the smell. I really don't like this smell. And I think you should do this one outdoor, okay? So just uh, use it with caution and uh, just uh, be careful. They, they are dangerous poison, put it somewhere safe. It does the job. And I think all the chemicals are, are dangerous. I don't know what's the ingredient for make a, like this one. They didn't say anything. Oh, this is actually all purpose cleaner. It's not a stay. So the stay zone is actually all purpose cleaner. Do they have a stay zone cleaner for like a permanent impact? They say all purpose, but uh, they, do they do the permanent mark? Permanent in here, I don't know. But you know what? If you have some at home and it's handy, you can give it a try. But please do remember it is dangerous and the poison and the flammable. Oh my god, crafting can be so dangerous. But it does the job. So if you I don't um I don't think so I will use this one often. Um but I think it's a good cleaner for the stays on cleaner and I will use that from now on. And then how about just clean your stamp after you use it and then so that way you don't have to worry about those uh, um those uh, ink, you know, that uh, stubborn ink st stick on your stamp. So that's today's video. I hope you like it and then um if you are local King Robertson's customer who is interested in 2021's uh, for, uh, spring new design, you can keep going and watching this video. If you are not, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Hello, guys. So you can see that I have a finish or a package. So we are going to do that a background promotion soon. And if you don't have a local King's Magic Mushroom, I am going to offer some awesome deal to come with the all the background stamp. So make sure uh, it's not here yet. I'm still working on the listing. So just uh, um, stay tuned. It's coming soon. And then you, uh, we're going to check. So when you are looking for the, just check at least month's special, looking for the special discount. And uh, we are going to have uh, um, the on, on sale for the whole store, okay? So first, let's take a look at uh, look, uh, this uh, um, stamp with the color. And I will, I'm going to working on the video to show you how to use it. So the first one, and I finally have all the name. And thank you so much for leaving me a comment and giving me an idea and the, the name. So the first one is the Ilk spider web. I think that's really, really cute. And this spider web is a reverse in image. I think we can do a lot of things with that. And then the fireworks, I, find, I finally I choose the celebration for or um, the fireworks one. I think it looks just awesome. And there is too many ways to do to do it. And also they are reverse images. So it's different with the... Uh, and this one, the fat, uh, the fat, uh, the pika feathers that I called, uh, we call with, um, I use the uh, tickles. It's the original name, Sean and Melody Fun. The flower garden looks how beautiful it is. This is a kind of shadow and the detail mixing. I think we can do a lot of things. I think the gold embossing, silver embossing, they will work perfect too. Okay, this is the one that I cannot pronounce that name. And finally, I choose the perfect storm for this wave. 
I think it's easier for me to pronounce the name. I think it's a good one too. And then this one, I choose the rice lake because it's a really, it's the rice lake. Okay, the flying carpet, I choose the magic carpet and think that will go well. It's like magic. And then this is jellyfish instead of a jiggly jelly, we use the jelly jiggly. Hope you like it. So we are not going to wait for the die cut. So I'm going to launch these eight background um, stamps first. And the, with the, uh, the magic mushroom is optional if you want to add a box of mushroom. And then for the all the 2021 uh, spring new design is going to be free shipping. Okay. So, and then the name of uh, this one, look the color, how beautiful it is. That I have the um the idea, exactly the idea when I design those stem. I know what exactly I want to use it. So the this one is called the Garden of the Life. The good things are for 2021 spring new design, they are going to have a double die. Remember those slim line card and the flower, they always have a two die card. One is the, the outline die card, one is the detail die card. So the outline die cut, uh, you can use it for layering. There's a lot of thing to do. So like this stem is going, uh, this one is going to have one, two, three, four, five die. The flower, I'm not able to make a double die um, because it's inside this container. So it's going to be a single die. But the butterfly hummingbird in this jar is going to be the double die. So this die is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven die for this die. Isn't awesome, but the price won't change. The price is the same. Okay, the eyes have it. Look at how cute it is. And then they also going to have a double die. So the detail die is right next to the image and the, the outline die is for the backing. So you can decide. Sometimes you want to leave a little gap. Sometimes you don't want to do it. And then, so it's totally up to you. So this one, the die cut set is going to have an A die cut. Okay, this one is the, I decided to use the name Majestic and Ma Majestic and Ma Majestic. Yeah, the Eagle and also each one is going to have a double die. So this is going to have an A die cut. So you have a detail die and you have the background die. The only set that doesn't have a double die is this party time because it's too many already. They have a nine dies already. And then, so I think, uh, the factory is going to have some problem if I accident because they are going to do a packing. It's going to be 18 if I want to do double that. So this one is uh, the only set that we only have a nine die cut. It doesn't have a double one. And then look how cute is the this. You can just uh, put the glasses, the tie, lollipop, blue. You can make a lot of car with uh, this uh, party time. Okay, don't crank your neck. It also have the double die. So that means at least that you're going to get a 10 die cut. You get a detail and you get outline. Relax the summer's eve. Also, this one, you're going to have a 12 die cut. 12. So each die cut have a double die and the background die. Okay, the land and the sea, you uh, see how cute it is. This one is going to have a one, two, three, four. You're going to have an eight die cut. Okay, so you can do the layering. And then you are so jelly. This one is also going to have an eight die cut. Okay, so just a little bit preview for you, and I'm going to show you the die cut. You know, a lot of the die cut on the market. If you take a look at the die cut, they are all just like or background die cut, the all one die cut. They have a big gap between your image, and then they don't have a, um, any embossing holo area. This is what I have been doing for the past few days. I was working on the detail die cut. Look at how detailed it is. The black area will be the holo area. That will be the embossing area. The red line is the die cut line. The uh, black thin line is the outline. Okay, so that's uh, that's what it look like. And then, the, oh, actually this one, we only have seven. The bubble doesn't really because the bubble, it, they will come off each one individually. So this one doesn't need to double that. Okay, so, and then look at this one. The way I design my die cut, uh, uh, you know, a lot of company, they just use the uh, auto tracing. So they just use the program or tracing it. But uh, for me, I use auto tracing first, but uh, I, after that, I go to every point, try to make my line very smooth and uh, very close to the image. So that's why if you have tried local King Roberts and die cut, you know how detailed my die cut is. That's the hours, hours, uh, um, graphic artwork that 
I am working on that. See how detailed. So all the black area is exactly like a um, stencil. Yeah, and this is a party time and the firework. This is a, a relax summer heat. This is a majestic. Okay, so the die cut is on the way to the factory. They're going to make a prototype as soon as when I receive the prototype after I take um check it out. Everything runs good. We're going to do the pre-order for the A step. But for the A background, the pre-order is uh, coming soon. So I will start to using it, create a video, and make sure you watch our video because I'm going to provide that 5% extra um, discount for our YouTube viewers. So that's everything for today. This is Lisa. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.